So how would you sum up the Safari Road Show? That's easy. Three countries, four events, 30 exhibitors, over 40 buyers, doing lots and lots of business. Keeping in mind that I knew that the organizing company has good experience regarding the UK market, it gave me confidence that it was one of the better ways of getting quality agents within the UK. I found the roadshow amazing actually, it was very well organized and going through the different parts starting from Manchester to all the way to London, it's been a good quality of tour operators coming to see us and as well they're very knowledgeable about the destination so it makes our job much easier in terms of explaining everything that's unique about our product as lodges, camps or even for myself as a DMC. As you know we're all, all under, the, under time pressure um, so to try and fit in multiple trips into, into, into a certain region um, it is getting harder to manage um, so something like this really gives you the opportunity to meet with top buyers um, over, uh, over a very short period you, know, you, you can't do 10 meetings a day if you, if you travel, around, uh, travel around the country so this gives you that absolute platform. I don't know any other chance where you can get to meet agents in a group one to one for such a good long time, so many of them, and if I tried to travel around the country by myself it would just be a waste of my time and I wouldn't be able to get the appointments anyway. So it's the sort of, the sort of group force, isn't it, the group dynamics of, of a lot of good operators getting together and being able to present to good tour operators, so good camps to good tour operators, and also I can get to mix with people like Flat Dogs and make up packages with them. It's just very good all around. The main thing I'm looking to get out of the show is to really try to understand what tour operators look for when they inquire about Uganda. As a DMC, we think we know what Uganda has to offer, but the key here is to try and match what we think we know with the right information coming from the tour operators. And if we do that, I think we've done okay. Um, the people are really nice and friendly and really welcoming, um, and it's a nice, relaxed um, environment, so it's just nice chatting to, to people, like minded people. And, um, and, it's you know, been very well organised, we've had 100% turnout so far. And there's been a lot of interest in Zambia, which is a very good sign for us. The venues have been superb, and the organisation has generally been good. Good quality, you know, information for me to go back and promote to my prospective, you know, clients. So I feel confident, more confident now that you know you've got, you know, good quality, you know, properties and experiences we can offer. You know, sometimes these things, you sort of, you're not sure how they're going to pan out, um, but actually yeah, it's been really good and, and everyone's met has been really positive and, and I think we can do a bit of work with it, so it's yeah, great. You know, I do love getting together with our other competitors, you know, it's really fun, we get along really nicely, so it's a good time for us to uh, see each other outside of work, although it is work, but uh, outside of our environment. And, um, yeah, meeting with new people and yeah, it's just a fun time. I found it fantastic. I thought it was excellent having back-to-back -back meetings with potential suppliers, some of whom are already selling Uganda and some who are hoping to sell Uganda and put it on their website. Now's a good time to be selling Uganda with all the marketing that's been going on for the country, from Comagio and other companies, and also with the doubling of prices and the Rwanda permits. So it's been excellent. The Safari Road Show has been phenomenal. Uh, I just build expectations. Thank you.